This is question 21. Here I'm told that a trapezium ABCD has an area of 5 root 6 centimetres squared. Then I'm given the lengths AB as 4, BC as root 3 and CD as K. And what I'm asked to do is to calculate the value of K given your answers in the form A root B minus C, where A, B and C are positive integers. So, first thing that I'm going to need to recognise here is that I, I am looking to try and find an unknown value. Okay, I'm looking to try and find this length of DC, and that's an unknown value. And so when I'm trying to find an unknown value, what I need to do is I need to somehow set up an equation. And in order to do that, I'm going to use this sentence up the top. We're told a trapezium ABCD has an area of 5 root 6. So what that means is that if I were to substitute all of these values for root 3 and k into the formula for the area of a trapezium, that that will be equal to 5 root 6. And what, I, what I've then got when I do that is I've got an equation which I can then solve. So let's start doing this. Uh, first of all, the formula for the area of a trapezium is half a plus b multiplied by h, where a and b are the parallel sides of the trapezium, so in this case 4 and k, and h refers to the height, which in this case is root 3. So let's substitute in, so we've got half of the two parallel sides, 4 and k, added together, so half of 4 plus k, multiplied by the height, which is root 3. And what I can say about this is that that is going to be equal to 5 root 6. This is just an expression for the area of the trapezium. And I know that when I substitute these values in to the formula for the area of trapezium, that gives me an area of 5 root 6. So what I've now got is I've now got an equation which I'm going to solve. So first of all, I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit. So this half 4 plus k, let's deal with that. Half of 4 plus k, I can just call that 2 plus half k. And what I'm doing is I'm doing 2 plus half k, and that's being multiplied by root 3. And that that is equal to 5 root 6. Now at this point, at this point, I've got a bit of a problem because I'm dealing with thirds, and when I'm dealing with thirds, really I need to have the thirds as having the same number in them, really. So at the moment I've got this root three, and over here I've got root six. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to think carefully: can I rewrite either of these in a different way that would allow me to then work with a with thirds which had the same number, so root three and root three, or root six and root six. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out this part here, 5 root 6. And I'm going to take this root 6 part. And what I can say about root 6 is that this is exactly the same as root 2 multiplied by root 3. So because I can say this, I've now got that root 3. And so what I can say next is that 2 plus half k... multiplied by root 3 is equal to, and just rewrite in 5 root 6, and I'm going to rewrite 5 root 6 using this idea over here, that root 6 is the same as root 2 times root 3. So what I'm going to say is that this is 5 root 2, so 5 times root 2, multiplied by root 3. So I've just put it in brackets to signify that 5 times root 2, I can then multiply by root 3. And that is exactly the same as 5 root 6. And I mean, we've got it's a calculator paper. We could just check that just to prove, you know, that it, this is correct. So 5 root 6 comes up as 5 root 6. If I were to do 5 root 2 multiplied by root 3, 
that this comes up as 5 root 6 as well. So those two things are just exactly the same. And by doing this, what I can then see is that because 2 plus half k times root 3 is equal to 5 root 2 times by root 3, what I can then say is that those root 3s will cancel each other out. Because obviously if you're times in by root 3, if you're times in something by root 3 and it's equal to something else times root 3, that that thing, that quantity by which you are multiplying, so 2 plus half k and 5 root 2, those two things must be the same. So another way of thinking about that is, is really that what I've done here is I've divided both sides by root 3. So now I've got a new equation. I've got 2 plus half k must be equal to 5 root 2. Must be equal to 5 root 2. So now all that's left for me to do is to rearrange this and make k the subject. We're asked to find the value of k. So next thing that I'm going to do here, subtract 2 from both sides. That's going to give me half k is equal to 5 root 2 minus 2. And so if half k is 5 root 2 minus 2, that means that k will be equal to 10 root 2 minus 4. So just multiplying both sides by 2, because half k equals 5 root 2 minus 2. So to get from half k to k, just multiply both sides by 2. So our final answer here is going to be k is equal to 10 root 2 minus 4.